Okay, here's where we left off. Now the only thing I've done since last video is I've put these two edges in all the way down. And I've put them in the size of my door. I've made sure they're about roughly the size of my door there, like so. Now we're going to go in here, and let's grab us a square, a cube, and let's make a, a cube. I'm going to say about like that. And all the way to the end here, like so. Let's make it a little wide, like that, and let's take it back to where it touches the wall. And I think that's going to do it. We might have to make our door a little wider. I don't like it being quite that wide. So let's take it back. And let's take this back in. There, that's a, a lot better. Like so. So now, I'm going to go ahead and select this loop right here. And I'm going to loop slice this. And I'm going to put about, I don't know, three cuts in, along the middle there. I'll make them uniform. As you can see, that puts three cuts along the length of my little wood there. So let's go ahead and copy this and rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, let's take the W key so we can translate it and move it back. And let's move it up this way. And we're going to touch it, move it back to it touches the wall like so. Now, I can scale this thing like this and roughly place it in like so. Let's grab this end polygon here and I want to stretch it out like so. And let's take this down a tad. And I think I need to go into polygon mode and just grab the top here and bring that top down a little bit. Not too much. I'll do my fine adjustments over here on the side there. Okay, now we have our little stuff going down the side there. So I'm going to dot copy these and paste them and then move them and translate them down to about right there. It's looking pretty good. Okay. Now let's go in here and grab our verts and let's mess these things up a little bit. Make that one go up. And we'll kind of make this one down. And over. About like so. And I'm just going to go through here and mess these up pretty good. Just to give it that skewed look. Like so. Let's do the same thing over here. Let's take these, pull them down. Take these, pull them down a little bit. Like that. Let's pull the ones in the middle here up.
like so. Okay, now we've got some weird looking wall decoratives there. So now let's go in here and let's kind of mess up our doorway. So let's go into point vertice mode and I'm going to grab all these points like so. I'm even going to grab that 2 by 4 too. And I'm going to drag down like that. And I'm going to take this one, move it down a little. Like so. Then I'm going to take these. And I want to move them down. And in. Like that. Let's take this bottom one here and let's bring it out. I don't need that little point in there though, straight point. We'll move it out a little bit and we're going to have to take these down. Actually, I want to take the, select the whole thing and move it down like so. Let's go to polygon mode and delete that polygon that we made cut out our door for. Now let's try to doctor up a lot of this stuff here. Okay, let's bring this one out like so. We'll bring it in. And just go through and kind of mess up your doorway. Do the best you can with what you got. Go back to vert mode. Now just bear with me. I'm just adjusting these points, which is what we're all going to have to do. If you want to get things, you know, just looking right. I'll skew that out a little bit like that. Okay. Now let's take this corner. And pull it down. Like so. Now we have our little door. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and find the edges. So I'm going to select my door and I'm going to hide it. I'll go to edge mode select my edges here and I'm going to Z to edge extend and I'll pull that out like that so it looks like we have kind of a um, hallway there behind our door so now we can take our edges here and fill them in with a polygon. And if we unhide our door, looks like we got kind of a slot hallway down in there. Okay. So now let's go in here real quick and get another square. Let's draw out a square. Let's move it back into place. Like so. We'll rotate it. Make it slightly skewed. Like so. Now let's go in and just adjust this a little bit. Let's grab the bottom and let's scale it in. Like so. Let's grab this edge. on top here and let's drag it up like so
Okay, now that is that. Now we have our door in place. And our wall, little few couple of our wall decorations. The next things we're going to do, we're going to add some shelves and our mirror. And then we'll get to the nitty gritty. Thanks for watching, guys.